So we finally made it to Renfest. This is a shakedown Order up that beat just like a takeout Show me you got soul inside those new shoes And you can rock and roll with an attitude So good, so fresh, just the way This is take two because last weekend when we came it was pouring and cold This one is like way better, perfect weather Maybe a little bit warmer would be awesome, but um, you know what? Hey, this works out pretty well. Renfest, or TRF, are both short names for the Texas Renaissance Festival, which is an annual Renaissance period festival that is held in Todd Mission, Texas, every year from mid-October through Thanksgiving weekend. If you're not familiar with what a Renaissance Festival is, well, imagine being transported back in time to the 16th century with a very modern spin where everyone is dressed up in everything from medieval type dress to the latest cosplay or steampunk fashion, where being different is not only celebrated, but it's actually encouraged. Yes, the food and drinks tend to be expensive, but you cannot put a price on such things as playing real life Where's Waldo? I think we're gonna go head back over and see Tartanic maybe for their last show of the day. There are numerous other entertainers performing everywhere from the streets to select venues. One of our favorites is Tartanic, a pipe and drum group that has been entertaining crowds at Renfest for 20 plus seasons. For sure, a large influence for why Marie and I had bagpipers performing at our wedding. So one of the takeaways that I have from this year's Renfest, which I'll carry over into our travels, is the investment in the moment. Each year we come away from these events with some new story from someone that we met at the festival. One year we had a talk with a person that was a veteran that had started selling his merchandise at the festivals. He shared with us a little about his story. It's just been really cool. Yep, I got my hair braided and I got my henna done, so I'm good. <laughs> This year was no exception as Marie got to learn a little about the story of the lady that was fixing up her hair. I would say with each new connection that we make with a person or persons at the festival, it starts to feel a little less like the place where we're going for a day of entertainment and a little bit more like going and visiting our extended family. In truth, once you strip away all of the surface level things, the dress, the clothes, the entertainment, what you're left with is the connections that you have made with the people at the event. It's an amazing transition, I think. And it's actually something I'm very much looking forward to as we start to transition into our world travels and really, really wanting to focus on connecting with people in those locations. So we'll catch you later. Bye.